case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1977, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case Nashville Gas Company v. Sadie, which centered on allegations that an employer had violated Title VII of the Civil Rights Act by discriminating against a female employee on the basis of her pregnancy status. The plaintiff, who was denied sick pay and seniority upon returning from pregnancy leave, argued that her employer's policy requiring pregnant employees to take a formal leave of absence and lose accumulated job seniority discriminated against women. The lower court initially found the employer's policy to be neutral, not discriminatory. However, upon appeal, the Supreme Court disagreed, stating that the policy had a negative impact on women and therefore violated Title VII's provisions prohibiting sex-based discrimination. The court held that there was no valid reason for the policy and deemed differentiation in sick leave pay to be discriminatory if the petitioner violated Title VII's seniority policy after pregnancy leave. The Supreme Court vacated the Court of Appeals' judgment on sick pay policies and remanded the case to the district court to determine if the respondent had preserved the right to proceed on the theory that the sick pay policies were a pretext for discrimination. Overall, the case served as an important milestone in the fight for gender equality in the workplace and helped clarify the interpretation of Title VII's protections. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.